Right, so probably today it's probably been converted in the 70s or something. But Heath Robinson, um, always with these um, sort of problems, they're always suspicious of damp problems. We know this damp, but it's like finding the cause. Now this is just a classic example. I'm just going to show you about how we go through some of the basic stuff with this one. So really, really important where you can. Leave the taps running. Um, normally for like 10 minutes, give the toilet a few, few flushes. What's really important as well, when you're in these properties now, boys, is when you when you turn the water on, just make sure where it's been taken off, um, like washing machine's been taken out, make sure nothing's leaking because I've had it before where I've been in there and I've like caused a little bit of water embarrassing enough to escape. So this has all been running for a long time. Now, these leaks here, they were not visible when the taps were running for a few minutes. So I've got this to leak over probably about 10, 15 minutes. I just want to show you here, so the stack, it basically had um, just a little bit of um, damp staining around there. Now, I wasn't too sure if this was condensation occurring in the early hours of the morning. So what I've done was put a little pencil in, which you can't see next is covered, um, and just left everything running. Left everything running, and basically you can see, well, I can see that that staining has got more prominent. I've been running a lot of water. You can just see on there, I don't know if you can see, you can see there's the water droplets there. They're not dripping much at all. But over a period of like, say 20 minutes and this has been on now, you can see there's a bit of water on the floor. Now, this tap, I don't know where you can see it, the tap's actually leaking as well, along the base there. Um, typical as well, the waste is not supported. And you can just see the water's pooling up down the bottom there as well. Um, on here, I don't know whether you can see it's all flush the toilet. That is leaking on there. We just about make that out there. And it's also running. Um, you should be able to just see it, yeah, just there. Just running there. You can see there's a lot of water there. That is six leaks. Six leaks in this just small little area here. Now, you'd think that would just be it. That would be just the sole causes of the dam. Well, there's more. I'll just show you this as well right here. There you go, there's an overflow. It's been leaking for a long time, it's nice and green. We've got big, big, thick, solid wall. Big solid wall, you can see. You know, minimum of 600 mil these walls are. We've got high ground level. not going to allow any evaporation on there and as I would say somebody's had a go this is just adjacent this area so it's not exactly that area but you know you can see what I'm seeing here big voids in the wall and um, this has had some sort of damp proofing done previous you can see some holes maybe some form of injection mortar I'm not exactly sure um, you can actually you can actually see there there's a lot smaller hole there um, just there. So that's probably been done a similar time as that. This ground, this flooring looks to be like maybe quite original looking at it, looking at the other heights and everything. So I would have said, you know, that any sort of form of damp proofing should have been 150 mil above the ground, which that clearly isn't. You know, the ground level was dropping about 150 mil, which that clearly isn't. Um, so you can see here, we've got six leaks inside. We got another leak, that's seven. We got the high ground level, that's eight. That's eight problems there. And we've also got a bodged up fan, which isn't gonna help anything. This is like nine problems um, initially, you know, and also with this type of property as well, pipes going through the floor. You can see they haven't been like sort of like protective with any sort of tape or anything, so Possibly there could be another leak under the floors. Um, what we use that, we've got proper leak detection equipment so we can actually listen to the noises. So as you can see, this one job, there's so many problems there. And like, without spending the time to investigate this stuff, it's never ever gonna be resolved. And what we're gonna do is well, we're gonna take some barometric samples on these walls. We're just gonna see if there's any salts there. 
because there could be you know many things going on here but um, you know that, that that wall there is block work you can see there's no damp proof course in there this floor where I've inspected I can't see any DPM um, there's probably been a morally told some told to start down and maybe the bitumen was the damp proof membrane this is further I've got to have a little mess about all this sort of stuff so realistically there's probably about 10 problems in just this small little area um, you know so if you're going to be getting someone doing a damp survey make sure they're spending the time to investigate and if they are you know going to be doing any remedial work you need to make sure it's the proper work that's actually needed because anyone doing any damp proofing on these walls or whatever it's not going to fix it and what will happen is when they, if anybody did come back they would then blame it on the leak that wasn't there previously, it probably was. Oh, I just changed onto this one as well here. You've got a shower. And if you see here, it's got lots of cracking along there. And you can just see on there, if I move this, you can just see that opening up them cracks. So anybody having a shower as well, as, as water's gonna go down there, you can see the staining, you can see the water staining along the back there and mold. You know, these are all sort of the sort of things we'd be looking for and testing. Um, but this is what you get on a paid survey with all this proper equipment. But thanks for watching.